Indeed, um, you're right. I mean, there is a merger party between the Greens and the Social Democrats led by former Europe Commissioner Frans Timmermans. And um, this party came out on top. Um, they just beat uh, a populist radical right-wing party, Geert Wilders, who's forming a, a coalition at the moment here in the Netherlands, uh, with one seat. And it depends on the final uh, results whether they will stay on top, but that is to be expected. But when they arrive in the European Parliament, both the Greens and the Social Democrats, as we know, will then uh, sit in various uh, two parties. So that was a bit of a, um, um, a, a bit of a confusing result for some of the people that uh, went to the polls. Uh, but at the end, they were very happy to came, uh, come out on top, and they celebrated it as a big victory. Definitely, they did. They said that this is a way to essentially stop the far right. But. Can you ultimately believe this is the case? Because when you look at uh, Wilder's performance, his party went from getting zero seats in 2019 to potentially getting seven. Absolutely. I mean, the uh, victory of uh, Geert Wilders yesterday was uh, very clear cut. And it's a precursor of what is, I think, going to happen in the next couple of days when we see European elections in various member states, where the radical right is supposed to um, uh, win a great victory. And it depends, of course, what will happen at the end, what will, will conclude on Sunday night when all the polls are being closed how big the block of the far right will become in the European uh, Parliament. Will they actually be able to beat Social Democrats and the uh, classic uh, um, uh, 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 People's Party, the Christian Democrats, and uh, become the biggest block in, in the European Parliament? At the same time, one has to also say that this is not a really a real block because they are um, very much split over the issue of uh, support to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And um, as one say, sees here, uh, for example, uh, Geert Wilders' party um, uh, was very reluctant on the uh, support for Ukraine. But now that they are forming a coalition with other right-wing parties here in the Netherlands, uh, you see them actually um, change their opinion and uh, be able to support um, a Ukraine. So just to clarify, from a Dutch perspective, though, before we go into the European Parliament itself, from a Dutch perspective, according to these exit polls, who won the European vote in this country? Well, it must be uh, Geert Wilders, uh, by far. I mean, uh, not only did he make a great result in terms of going from one seat to seven, um, uh, but at the end of the day, um, it is also a continuation of what we saw uh, back in 2023 in the national elections, where Geert Wilders uh, came out on top, surprisingly big, actually, uh, with a landslide victory. And um, now he's um, in charge of the coalition building. That is almost being done. Um, uh, ministers have to be sought for the government, but the coalition of four parties will actually have a normal majority in the parliament.